Hey YouTube, what is up? It is Max back with DC Watches, uh, and as promised, I'm bringing you guys a review of my Nomos Glassuta uh, reference or Minimatic rather reference one two zero three first edition. Um, so without further ado, we are going to uh, get into this box and take a closer look. Um, but first, I'm gonna have a little bit of coffee. Um, so I bought this watch secondhand uh, from Crown and Caliber, who also supplied my uh, Omega Speedmaster uh, reference one four five zero two two, which is what I have on the wrist for this review. So it'll kind of be our companion, I suppose, uh, through this through this process. So luckily, with the purchase from Crown and Caliber, it did come with the original box, which is this very nice. Um, unfortunately, it's a little stained over here. I don't know what the heck the guy or gal who owned this before me was doing, but either way, it comes with the original box from Nomos. Um, so we open this gray outer box, uh, and it kind of, not kind of, it comes with this um, very nice uh, leather kind of travel companion, um, which is quite nice, as you can see, Nomos Klesuta embossed in the front of the leather, so we are gonna go ahead and get rid of this outer box, the remainder of the review, put that up in my watch box, um, get this opened up and show you how the watch comes. So when you open the outer case from Nomos, it's just a zip all the way around, and you open it up, you can see we have here the uh, dirty again, what the heck are you guys doing? Um, Nomos Glasuta branded microfiber cloth, which I'm certainly going to need to use to uh, clean off some of the fingerprints that are undeniably on the sapphire of this watch. So this will be a bit of a companion for the rest of the video. Um, very nice either way. Uh, and in here they give you the uh, warranty information, um, kind of your guarantee and your warranty, and your uh, information booklet. But as you can see, very beautiful. This is what it uh, would have looked like had I bought it new. Um, pretty much this exactly. Uh, so the watch came on this strap, which was, um, I guess, beat up to say the least. Um, so I bought uh, two new straps for it, but we'll get into that a little bit later. But time to jump into the review. All right, so we've uh, changed locations ever so slightly um, because the lighting in my room was growing more and more difficult, uh, kind of as the afternoon waned on. But I digress, we are here. Time to talk about this absolutely lovely watch from Nomos. So again, this is the Nomos Glassuta Minimatic uh, Reference 1203, and this is the first edition um, of that piece. Uh, so let's get through the specs first. This is a tripart stainless steel case. Um, so as you can see, it's a, it's a three-piece stainless steel case with a uh, sapphire crystal on the back to display the DUW 3001 movement. Also a dome sapphire crystal on the front of the watch, which acts um, both as a, a rather incredible way to display this dial from Glassuta, but also, as you can see, it's raised from the edges of the stainless steel case. And the reason that they did that is because the sapphire is actually harder than the stainless steel. So if your watch were to suffer a drop onto the domed sapphire, the uh, sapphire would, in theory at least, protect the uh, stainless steel case of the watch. So the dial of this watch is probably my favorite part of it. The dial is a galvanized dial. It is uh, plated in white silver. Um, the minute markers, as you can see here, uh, actually quite nicely in this light, are a cyan color. Um, and the hour markers, I believe, are drilled or recessed into the dial. Um, and those are gold. Let's see if I can kind of get you guys a better view of those markers. So as you can see, the uh, minute markers are that wonderful blue cyan. And the gold of the hour markers really stands out against this. Uh, galvanized white silver dial um, and the red hands honestly work wonders uh, with this color combination 
Um, I think the red hands are a very fun touch. Um, and while the Neomatic appears red in some lights on the dial, it's actually orange, as is the little uh, paint pip, I suppose, um, above the six. As you can see at the six, we have uh, made in Germany, obviously the Glashütte region of Germany. Um, so uh, a little bit more about the uh, watch and the watch strap. The watch strap is a uh, genuine Horween uh, shell cordovan in black. This is what the this is the exact same strap the watch comes on. As you can see, it has a stainless steel uh, buckle. Um, this is their butterfly buckle, I believe, with a beautifully signed uh, tang. Um, I think that is just one of the classiest looking straps that I have ever seen come stock on a watch. Granted, this is one of the classiest watches I have ever owned. Uh, the subdial, as you can see, is textured in um, concentric circles uh, that kind of span out across the uh, the sunken in subdial, which is actually a very wonderful texture. It's much deeper um, than I had originally anticipated, uh, much deeper set into the dial, that is, um, than I had originally anticipated uh, based on the pictures that I had seen. Um, so the case dimensions uh, across, we have 35 and a half millimeters. This is a whopping 8.9 millimeters tall. Um, and the lug width is 17 millimeters. Very strange. So the DUW 3001 movement in this watch um, is an in-house movement. It is hacking, it's hand winding, it is a 27 joule movement. Uh, it is a whopping 3.2 millimeters tall, and it is one of, if not actually, my favorite movement um, out of any of the watches that I own, including the 861 chronograph movement in my Speedmaster. Now, this movement is uh, quite the technological feat. Um, Nomo spent 15 million euros in about three years of research and development to create this movement. Beyond its uh, short stature of 3.2 millimeters, um, I believe it is 28.8 millimeters across, uh, it is very easy wearing. Um, it is because of the height of the movement, the, the case is. Um, in addition, the movement itself is incredibly efficient. Friction loss in the movement only robs the watch of about 5.8% of its energy. Uh, other movements experience friction loss to the tune of about 20%. Um, this watch also houses uh, Nomos's primary swing system, which can be seen uh, right here. Um, it's also a gorgeous decoration of this three-quarter plate with ribbed polishing, uh, temperature blued screws, rhodium plating um, on many of the parts, as well as perlage on the base plate. Almost all of the components fit between the base plate and the three-quarter plate. Uh, that's one of the reasons they can get the watch to be so thin, um, and they also replaced the, uh, the existing balance cock with a balance bridge for the Nomos swing system. Uh, this watch can be had new for 3,680 US dollars. Now, I did also wanna talk a little bit about what makes my particular version of this Nomos so special, so unique. Um, so this watch, uh, that I have here is actually the Nomos uh, Minimatic Neomatic First Edition. Um, and what that means is that this watch was actually only made for the first year of the DUW 3001 movement, which was 2015. Um, this particular example is a relatively early uh, serial, number, serial number example um, of the watch, as, uh, as made evident by this warranty card. As you can see on the warranty card, the watch was sold January 6, 2016, but this was um, a 2015 edition of the watch. Um, and I'll, I'll show you how you can tell in a second. So the, the case number of this watch is 290, and the movement number is 1,852, both of which can be found on the back of the case. So here you can see that it says Neomatic First Edition, and then on the top it says Minimatic 290. Um, and then on the movement, we can see that it says DUW 3001, number 1852. Both so, of those are serial numbers for the uh, Nomos company. Um, 
And since it was the first edition, we can also see uh, there's some special clues on the dial. Um, Neomatic uh, right there is in orange, as is this little orange pip above the six, above the Made in Germany at six. Um, both of those also indicate that this is a first edition watch. Um, and on the case back as well, as I showed you already, it says Neomatic first edition. So one of the reasons that I fell for this watch is that it is a first edition piece. Um, and because it is a first edition piece, it is just a bit rarer um, than any of the other Nomos Minimatics you would find, or you, uh, you may find rather. Um, so my personal example is the 290th Nomos uh, Minimatic made um, in 2015. Now, there are three different references of the Nomos Minimatic, um, this being the 1203. Uh, and so to me, if I were to guess, that would mean that this is one of the first 100 examples of the 1203 made, considering that this is number 290, uh, and there are three different models. So divide 290 by three, you get a number less than 100. Um, in addition, I really take pride in the fact that this is a, uh, an early example of the DUW 3001 movement, because the movement is so technically advanced uh, in comparison to a lot of the other movements that I own. Um, this, again, the movement number is 1,852, making it one of the first 2,000 movements that Glasshütte made uh, for production of the DUW 3001 movement, which, again, encompasses their new swing system and is one of the more efficient movements that you can get in a wristwatch, um, at least a mechanical wristwatch. And so while I do really love this watch, um, there are a couple things that I don't love about it. Um, the first, uh, and maybe the most obvious to you who have been um, kind of looking at the shots of the dial or are familiar with this watch in general, is that there's no loom on the watch uh, anywhere. Um, as you can see, all of the, uh, all of the indices are this cyan or uh, gold and this paint on the dial. Um, is just print, it's just applied, or not applied, it's just uh, text, there's no loom there. Um, the other thing I'm not crazy about is the water resistance. The water resistance on this watch is only three Atmos, um, so if I sweat in it, I have a paperweight, which is great. Uh, and then the last thing is the lug width. The 17 millimeter lug width makes it incredibly difficult to find uh, purveyors of watch straps that are not Nomos. Um, which is not a total loss, but it is something that I find a little bit annoying as somebody who does like to change straps, especially on a watch that looks this good. The one thing that I like about going to Nomos for the straps is that they go above and beyond with their inclusions um, f for when you buy these straps. Uh, I, I was over the moon to, to see this, to get this, to, to kind of have this experience of, you know, getting a, a handwritten card from a brand. Um, I'm a 22 year old watch collector. So there, there really isn't a lot of, there really aren't a lot of companies accessible enough to me where I can experience this level of customer service in, in collecting watches. Um, so to have this card come from Nomos uh, with the purchase of these two watch straps, did kind of make up for it, but at the same time, uh, it, it is very frustrating to have to go and look for 17 millimeter watch straps. Um, but those are truly the only two things that I would complain about this, that I have uh, to complain about this watch. I truly, truly love this piece. Um, it, is, it is a wonderful, wonderful piece and a piece that I could not recommend more. On the whole, it's probably one of the best starter watches you can get for the money. Um, I'm glad that I own it. I will own it for many more years to come. Uh, and I'm looking forward to uh, kind of continuing to update you guys on both the wearability of this watch and the experiences that I have with it. So until the next video, guys, this has been Max from DC Watches. I'll see you in the next one.